Good morning, it's Jeremy. It's Friday, January the 5th. And this morning I'm going to try and receive NOAA 18 satellite weather. So I've got a V dipole here. It's a quarter wave on each side, so it's 55 centimeters on each side. And I'm just pointing, my uh, apartment here looks east, so I'm pointing north. NOAA 18 is going to come in from the north around 11:15, something like that. <coughs> There's the LNA bandpass filter. You can see the light is on. So I've, I've got it directly at the antenna. So I have the um, minimum noise figure and then I'm connected to, I've got an RTL version three here with the bias T on. And then uh, that's looking at NTYO. It shows you the satellite orbit. So NOAA 18 is gonna come in here around 1118, just north of Toronto. And I'm gonna be receiving it on SDR sharp. So there's SDR sharp. I've set up for the NOAA 18 frequency of 137.9125. I got an FM DMOD. Uh, it's going to be around 50 kilohertz, something like that. We'll, we'll see. And then I'm going to save it as a WAV file and then decode it with NOAA APT. So as soon as the satellite comes in, we'll go on to Camtasia. Just a quick look at the satellite pass here. This is from N2YO, and you can see NOAA 18 coming in here around 1118, coming in from the north. Should be just east of me at 1120, and then going out here, going down south. Uh, another great program to use is GPredict. And here, um, NOAA 18, you can see the footprint is coming in. Right now, it's below the horizon at minus 20 degrees. Slant range is 6,000 kilometers, so when it gets in range, this will go down to a couple of thousand kilometers, and of course the ele elevation will go up from zero to whatever, uh, probably 30 or 40 degrees. So anyways, uh, we've got about uh, 12 minutes, and then we should be s seeing something. Okay, so I'm looking at G-Predict here. There's the NOAA 18 location, and you can see on a horizon plot, it's just above the horizon here at one degree, and it'll come in uh, something like that. And um, so we should start to be receiving something when this thing gets to be around a thousand kilometers. Okay, so I'm starting to see a signal here now. Um, yeah, there we go. Decrease this bandwidth a little bit. Now it looks like there's Doppler shift on there, so I may, I'm going to try and move this to the center here. There we go. Quite a strong signal now. Let's see where the, let's see where the satellite is. Yeah, it's, uh, 1400 kilometers away at an elevation of 32 degrees, so that'll be visible from where I am. Very strong signal. Just adjusting the frequency here because there's Doppler shift on it. Satellite is just passing from the east and it's going south now, so the frequency will drop, the Doppler will drop. And there's some high buildings um, next to me, so I'll probably lose the signal momentarily now. Okay, so the signal of the satellite is due south now, and uh, due to my location, I only look east, so that's probably the end of reception. Yep, that's it. So we're gone now, more or less. Okay, so once you've done your signal capture and you saved your WAV file, 
what I like to do is just um, do some work on the WAV file first. So I've opened the saved WAV file from SDR Sharp in uh, Audacity. So I'm going to select the uh, track by Control A, click on it, and Control A selects the track, and then I'm going to go to Effect, Amplify. So I'm going to normalize everything here. So you see I've increased the amplitude, so it's plus or minus one. Uh, you might want to do a quick check here on, uh, let's see, Tools. analyze plot spectrum and there you can see the 2400 Hertz tone that's where the uh, ASK operation on the tone gives you your um, lines on the screen I have a, a video about that on APT uh, modulation so anyways that's the audio file so next thing we're gonna do we're gonna open that in um, NOAA APT so there's NOAA APT so I'm gonna open the file here so there we go, and then I'm going to hit decode, <clears throat> and then I'm going to go pro to processing, process, and there's your image. Um, <clears throat> there's no map overlay at the moment. Uh, uh, you can look into um, look into the program for more details, and we're going to go into uh, WX to image. There's WX to image. I'm going to open the audio. So there's the audio file. You can see down here it's working. And if you go to saved images here, there's your uh, NOAA decode in WX2 image. I've got all the details in the blog post.